Now, way back in 1948, the ink was drying here on a new uh, UN document, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. 70 years on, a new Amnesty International curated exhibition titled Towards Each Other in English now looks at how relevant that document is today. Among those taking part is the Italian photographer Lorenzo Maloney, who joins us now on set for um, Perspective. Thank you very much for coming Thank to talk to us Thank you for inviting here. me. You're very welcome. Thank you for coming in. Uh, first of all, just talk us through the meaning behind the title of this exhibition, Towards Each Other. What does it actually mean? Uh, it's, I, I've been invited from Amnesty International to cover a story about refugee and about the Article 14 of the Declaration. And uh, so I decided to work uh, uh, about the borders and about all the limitations around the borders, so all the fence and the wall that Europe is building around this, uh, this border. And uh, I've been working mainly in the perimeter of the Europe and uh, of, as well in the border between uh, France and Italy, because like the exhibition, it was in France, I'm Italian and I live in France, so there was a connection. And it was pretty interesting also to, to, to see all those migrants that they're trying to cross between, uh, in Europe, they, they already arrived in Europe, but they still have, for the Dublin law, they're still not allowed to, to move from one country to another. Now, in general, would you say this exhibition is uh, more optimistic or pessimistic about this 70-year-old uh, this document on human rights? I mean, I don't know. I don't, I don't think the situation in the world is, is so optimistic right now, but maybe it's better than, uh, than, bef than before. We are going, we are trying to improve a bit, but there are new issues that we are facing nowadays. Now, you're, you're just one of several artists taking part in this um, exhibition here in Paris. What are the other artists and photographers uh, showcasing? What is their work like? Uh, there, are, there are different kinds of work. Uh, there is work uh, about um, about different kind of issue, uh, like for example, things related to family, things related to people working to protect uh, human rights. There are um, a lot of different things. Yeah. How would you uh, describe your role? Are you a photographer? Are you a, a storyteller? Are you a political activist? How would you describe yourself? I'm a photographer. Simple photographer. But you've been focusing, of course, a lot on, on political events. Yeah, but just as photographer. I mean, I give my vision, but I'm still like, I'm a photographer. I react visually, it's visually based. I mean, I have ideas, I have things, but my priority, it's, it's, it's visual. I'm not, I'm not an activist, I'm not a, I mean, yeah, I'm also an activist. I'm, I'm a lot of things, but my way to express those well, things is through photography, so photographer. I'm a photographer. How do you... Obviously, you've been working in the Middle East, a lot of tensions, a lot of problems. How yeah. do you manage to, to focus on the picture that you want to take and try and block out all of the, the drama happening around you? How does that work? I mean, I don't think you can block the drama, and I don't think really that in the moment that you are taking the picture, you know that that is the picture that you want to take, because it's pretty instinctive. It's kind of reaction, something that you can't predict. It's very fast. But then when you go, like, back uh, home or like when it's the moment of editing is there the moment where you decide which is the right picture which is the right moment is when you sit down and you look at the picture that is where you decide where is the picture more than exactly in the time and many people watching at home might be uh, interested to hear that you actually first professionally became a photographer just 10 years ago. That's quite recent. Yeah, because before I was doing another job, I was working on security information. And, uh, and then I decided that was not my life, I would say. I didn't want to stay into an office and, uh, and spend my life like but that. How, how, did, how did you become a photographer? How did you get into uh, this, this particular medium? I mean, actually, I started to study a bit, got some passion, I started to travel. And then I had the chance that one of my first work uh, has been published. It was not even a work, it was actually a picture of my holidays. Uh, it was, has been published on Time magazine. Uh, and so I, I said, OK, maybe I can do it. I mean, I, di I didn't start with the idea of, of being a photographer. I, I was not even considered as a, as a work. But then I've been in Yemen in 2010. And uh, it was just right before the Arab Spring. And I started to take a picture, and there, by chance, just down to my hotel, I started a big riot. 
uh, I didn't have any experience, but just like I felt okay, I want to go take a picture there. It was a very bad idea because it was very dangerous. And, um, and then this picture has been published a bit in different magazine and newspaper. And so I said, okay, maybe, maybe that might be my life. Now we have some um, pretty big uh, unrest about to take place once again this weekend here in Paris. What, what's your take on this yellow vest unrest? Will you be taking your camera out on the streets of Paris to document it? I, I, I didn't do last time, uh, but I think I will, I will do it this time. But it's, it's, I don't know, I don't have really an idea of, like, about with these people, what they're doing. Uh, I found like that representation of demonstrations sometimes it's it's complicated because a lot of things like it remain like picture of clashes and the things like that you don't really show what their people want to say about what they want to do but it's just like you got this sometimes very beautiful picture about smoke and uh, and police but it's, it's also it's also look, look at the same but so just on that point how do you go about you know monitoring a scene and then realizing that's the right moment to take a picture. How does that actually work? Uh, again, it's like, I, I don't know. When, the moment that I take the picture, I don't have actually any idea if it's a good picture and a bad picture. And a lot of time when I think that it's a good picture, now when I go back home, I think, no, this was, it's not a good picture. So it's really complicated to, like on the moment that you take the picture, to think, okay, this is the right picture to do. OK, Lorenzo uh, Maloney, thank you very much for coming to talk to us thank here on you. 24. And if you want to go and see Lorenzo's photos along with the rest of that exhibition, it's on at the Galerie Wanted in central Paris until January the 12th.